Hey chickies, so guys today we are doing a tribal stamping mini and we're also doing some freehand painting. I really hope you like it. Let's get into it. So the polish for this one is Picture Polish Instinct which is my collab shade with Picture Polish. It is super dreamy and easy to apply, it's so creamy, two coats, two very thin coats and you completely opaque. It's just fabulous. I love it. I'll also be using some of Bliss Kisses Simply Peel Latex Barrier to protect the skin around my nails because yes, I am doing some stamping. I think I showed you this bottle in my previous video. It's the, um, I didn't say what size it was, it's the 60ml or 2 flower ounce bottle of uh, Simply Peel and I think this is probably the best way to buy it. Uh, you get a lot more product plus it, it, the application is super easy with this thin nozzle at the at the um, at the end of it. So um, I highly recommend this because I have received it in like polish bottles before, and it um, because the brush doesn't reach all the way to the bottom of the bottle, um, it can end up being really difficult to use after it gets to a certain point, like about I don't know a quarter of when there's only like a quarter of it left in the bottom of the bottle. So. Yeah, that's why I highly recommend buying it in the bigger bottle. It's more expensive, but it's cheaper in the long run, I suppose, because you get more. Now the tribal stamp that I'm using is from Fabunails Fun Plate 7, and I'll be using Picture Polish's Clear Jelly Stamper to do the stamping. So fingers crossed, everything will go okay. I'm sure it will. I know, actually I already know, so yeah, it works out okay. <laughs> so yeah, just, you know, stamping. It's self-explanatory put the polish on the plate, scrape it, then pick it up with your stamper thingy and then place it on your nail. Really that easy. <laughs> it's not that easy, is it? Anyway, this one worked out really well. I was really pleased. And as you can see, all that buffing I did at the end of this stamper has worked out quite well because you can definitely see right through it. I'm really pleased. Like I'm seriously happy because I was really worried I completely wrecked it. <laughs> don't forget to take off the uh, liquid latex straight away. You don't want to leave that hanging around there. It doesn't need to be there after you've done the stamping. I did add a top coat of Sesh Feet over this nail, but that was before I decided to do something a little extra to this nail. So um, ordinarily that wouldn't have been necessary. Now, even though I, I really do believe that that, uh, that that tribal stamping could just be there on its own, I decided to add a little bit of white acrylic craft paint just to the dots and just add some extra random dots to this design. I just thought it made it look a little bit more nicer. <laughs> and once the little white dots were dry, I added another coat of Sesh Feet. So yes, this has two coats of Sesh Feet on it. Next we're going to move on to the freehand uh, portion of this video and that is on the pinky and the index nail and I'm just using white, uh, not white, black acrylic craft paint and my RKF brush from the Stylish Nail Art Shop. It's RKF isn't it? I, for like six months I was calling it the RFK brush until someone pointed out that it was wrong. Yeah it's definitely the RKF brush. Uh, and I'm just, this is, this is where you get to do whatever you like. You can just do as in any kind of design you like, as long as it's kind of has a tribal theme to it. Uh, but, and I was, with mine, I was trying to stay in keeping kind of with what the stamping design was. So triangles and lines and things like that. But you can just go all out and do anything you like, really. Because acrylic craft paint takes literally no time to dry at all, it wasn't very long before I could add a top coat so I just went ahead and did that on this pinky and then we'll move on to the index nail. Now on the index nail I did a basically kind of an opposite sort of viewpoint from the pinky and as you can see from the pinky and the index I decided to not go full nail design with the freehand painting. Not for any particular reason at all, just, you know, I, I may or may not have been lazy, be, being lazy, uh, um, that could have had um, something to do with it or not. This could have been my entire um, plan all along. Let's just leave it at that, shall we? <laughs> Now 
And finally, I'm adding the top coat of Seshbeet yet again. Don't forget all the details about everything I use will be in the description box down below as per usual. Now before I go, I wanted to talk about oils. Uh, in the package I got with the Simply Peel, I also got a bottle of, or a new bottle of Simply Pure Hydrating Oil. Uh, it came in a big bottle, four ounces, which is 118 mils. So it's a lovely big bottle and also these three clicky pen things, which you can refill yourself, which I did with one of them so far. Uh, and it's a great way of not using too much because you don't really need a lot. Like there literally is no point pouring a bucket of oil over your hand. Um, the most important part I think is to do it often. So do it two or three, four times a day, as many times as you can think. And that's why these pens come in really handy because you can have them in your purse and you can just do it anytime. And before you ask, no, it doesn't um, hang around on your hands and make you, you know, have super greasy hands all the time. It soaks into your skin and into the skin around your nails and your hands, you know, wherever, uh, really, really quickly. Like within about five minutes, I can walk around and I can touch a silk shirt. And that's saying something because it won't leave it's, it's sort of an oily residue. It's incredibly important for the health of your nails in particular and the, your skin in general to use some sort of hydrating oil. This one in particular has a lot of jojoba oil in it and I'm, I've told and I've you know done a little bit of research myself as well that jojoba is really... Um, I think the molecules of jojoba are the best or the closest to your own skin's oils, so therefore penetrate your skin better than any other oil. Now, when I don't have this, I use a combination of different um, cuticle oils, ones from Kushio, but also ones that I make myself, um, as in I buy jojoba oil, I buy organic jojoba oil from iHerb, and I also buy rosehip oil from iHerb and I mix them together at a ratio of about two thirds um, jojoba and one third rosehip oil um, and I find that is extremely hydrating to my skin and the reason why my cuticles look okay most of the time <laughs> so trust me if I wasn't doing this this oil regime that I sort of get my got, have gotten myself into my cuticles would be ugh. so if, if I can give you any advice or just one piece of advice to keep your nails healthy and your cuticles supple and, and soft and, and that sort of thing, it would be to use a kind of some, some kind of oil. Um, and it has to be a plant-based oil, but not vegetable oil because that would not work very well. But you can use avocado oil, you know, in a pinch, like if you don't have anything else. Um, uh, avocado oil, macadamia oil, you can use, um, what other ones? Um, yeah, olive oil even. I wouldn't recommend using canola oil or anything like that because that's not really, that's just yuck and you'll be very greasy. <laughs> anyway, anyway, that's it for the oils. Don't forget all the details, uh, all the details about all the oils I mentioned and including iHerb and Simply um, Pure and all of that will be in the description box down below. Just click on the little button that says show more. Okay, so that's it for this one. I'm sorry that last bit was super long-winded, but I really want to get all of that out. <laughs> anyway, thanks again for watching. I will see you next time. Bye, chickies. Oh, and thank you for subscribing, and thanks for that delicious thumbs up. Bye.